even if you talk about the agricultural fields crop fields there are always farmers over there so what are these people doing they have the seeds to your students so they sow the seeds into some into the soil and after sowing these seeds into the soil before that the soil is prepared if i talk about human beings so in the male human body the male gamete would be formed in the male reproductive system all right you can see here this is a male gamete in the female human flower is having both male part and the female part it will produce both the gametes it is termed as bisexual because it is producing both the gametes this is an example of unisexual flower one is the male male flower and the another one is the female flower so it is having it will produce hello dear students welcome to allen digital while you go out with your friends to play in a garden or a park in your locality as soon as you enter in the garden premises or the park you find yourself surrounded by so many plants of different different shapes and sizes variety of flowers there might be many herbs shrubs as well as the trees climbers creep creepers dear students while you are looking at them enjoying the natural beauty have you ever thought have you ever wondered how there these plants are formed there is so much of variety how are all these plants formed different trees how did they came into existence so the question here arises have you ever thought how new plants are formed if you look carefully there's always a gardener taking care of the garden even if you talk about the agricultural fields crop fields there are always farmers over there so what are these people doing they have the seeds to your students so they sow the seeds into some into the soil and after sowing these seeds into the soil before that the soil is prepared of course then what happens the seed gets the favorable conditions it receives the water and these other favorable conditions and then the seed germinates as you can see here once the seed germinates from it then a seedling comes out and then the seedling develops into an adult plant it grows and develops into an entire adult plant and this is how plants are formed through the seeds dear students but how are the seeds formed how do we get the seeds from where we got get the seeds and then how from the seed the entire new plant arises it is actually a baby plant in itself isn't it future plant so how is that possible we'll get all of these answers to all of these questions in this section which is all about a new chapter a new beginning reproduction in plants to understand reproduction in plants how is it occurring how is the process actually occurring we need to first and foremost understand the term reproduction so dear students reproduction basically is the process by which living organisms are able to produce more of their own kind you might have seen cat with its kitten as well as dogs with the puppies human beings with their babies in their hands and then further these puppies are going to grow and develop into an adult dog the kittens are going to grow and develop into adult cats so this is what is termed as reproduction they produced more of their own kind so here you can see this is a family of human beings you are able to see the babies along with their parents the cats with the kittens this was all about the animals including the human beings what about the plants dear students so like i told you we put the seeds into the soil then the seedling arises after it germinates and then it grows and develops into an adult plant further it flowers also if it is a flowering plant flowers will come and further we get the fruits also fruit fruit formation occurs now dear students these fruits that we eat you might have noticed sometimes while eating the fruits some small small tiny things come in our mouth which is totally ruining our taste actually those are the seeds to your students why have they been placed into the fruit because you know from the seed only the new plants are going to emerge so the cycle continues and this is how we get more and more plants so again this is also what reproduction because of the seeds we are able to get more plants and this is what is reproduction 
so dear students basically reproduction is further of two modes we have two modes of reproduction number one we have the sexual mode of reproduction and number two we have the asexual mode of reproduction let us understand both of them in detail sexual mode of reproduction this is by parental dear students two parents are involved in sexual mode of reproduction whereas we talk about the asexual mode it is uniparental there is only one parent involved in this kind of in this mode of reproduction further here since two parents are involved so what happens in their bodies gamete formation will occur so formation of gametes in the male parent parents body male gamete would be formed in the female parents body female gamete would be formed all right so formation of gametes occur in the reproductive part where is this formation occurring in the body also in the reproductive parts dear students if i talk about human beings so in the male human body the male gamete would be formed in the male reproductive system all right you can see here this is a male gamete in the female human so in the female reproductive system the female gamete would be formed which is also known as the egg you can see here this is the female gamete now this is about basically the plants that example i gave was of humans so here this is these are the diagrams of the plants gametes actually so this is basically a uh, part of the the female part of the flower okay and here it is having these bulb like structures inside this the female gamete is formed actually and this is basically uh, what is it is uh, pollen grain we'll come to know about it in the upcoming classes in the upcoming uh, lectures so here the pollen grain this contains the male gamete and where is it formed it is formed in the male part of the flower so you can see in sexual mode of reproduction formation of gametes occur what are gametes gametes are the reproductive cells dear students to be more specific all the living organisms their body is is made up of cells it can be made up of one cell or many it can go up to million billions of cells also or only just thousands or even one cell so on the basis of that we have unicellular organisms we have multicellular organisms so but all the organisms living organisms are made up of cells now some of the cells are involved in reproduction they are known as the reproductive cells that is the gametes so formation of gametes occur in case of sexual mode of reproduction in asexual only one parent is there no formation of gamete is involved in this process this basically involves the vegetative part here reproductive parts were involved where the gamete formation was taking place here vegetative part is involved now what are the vegetative parts what are the reproductive parts dear students actually to be uh, specific about the plants so plant body can be divided into two parts reproductive parts and the vegetative parts reproductive part which is directly involved in sexual reproduction that is the flowers like i told you flowers is having the female part the male part where the formation of uh, the female and the male gamete will occur respectively right so flowers are the reproductive organs of the plant vegetative parts they are not directly involved in sexual reproduction not involved in reproduction at all all right which are the vegetative parts of the plant the stem the root the leaves the buds these are all the vegetative parts of the plant and they are involved in asexual mode of reproduction now here in case of sexual mode since formation of gametes has occurred male gamete and female gamete so what happens the next step is fusion of these two gametes so that then a single celled zygote formation occurs so the next step is here fusion of gametes union of gametes take place basically all right so what will happen you can see here this is a flower okay like i told you it is having the male part this is the male part this is the female part all right so here this male part it is having the pollen grains this will get dusted over the female part further it is having the female gamete and the pollen grains contain the male gamete so the male gamete will further reach up to the female gamete as you can see here right and then the fusion of union of male and female gamete will take place and as a result seed formation will occur 
and now we know what we do with the seeds we put the seeds into the soil then it germinates when it gets the required favorable conditions and then further seedling arises and from then we get the entire new plant it grows and develops into an adult plant so here what happens in it involves fusion of gametes in case of asexual mode of reproduction dear students no fusion of gametes take place since formation has not occurred how can we talk about fusion in this case right so the here no fusion of gametes take place you can see here directly from the vegetative part what happens like for example i'll take a uh, instance of stem let's say stem i have taken so i'll take some stem cutting which should have at least one bud then i'll put it into the soil i'll put it into uh, soil and we can also add some chemicals also so as to initiate rooting right so for the rooting has initiated and then it has got vegetation also initial leaves have come out right so you can see how rooting has initiated so shoot system is also developed further it will grow into and develop into an entire new separate individual so we can see how through the stem we got a new plant this is what this is reproduction through the vegetative parts right asexual mode of reproduction here no flowers uh, or the formation of gametes or the fusion of gametes is occurring now here we saw that the same plant is having the female part also and the male parts also is it happening with all the flowers no dear students some flowers have both male and female part some flowers have either male part or the female part so on the basis of that we can uh, divide the individuals organisms into two categories organisms which produce single gametes unisexual if they have the male part they will only produce the male gamete if they have the female part they will only produce the female gamete right so organisms producing single gametes unisexual all right and the organisms producing both type of gametes it is bisexual if the flower is having both male part and the female part it will produce both the gametes it is termed as bisexual because it is producing both the gametes this is an example of unisexual flower one is the male male flower and the another one is the female flower so it is having it will produce gametes separately all right this is a bisexual flower it will produce both the gametes so this way we have two categories here also now coming back to the differentiation points right so in case of sexual mode of reproduction seed formation occurs like i just now explained so then from the seed new plants grow and develop so new plant is produced from the seed as you can see whereas in asexual mode of reproduction new plant is produced from either the stem root or the leaf as it is visible in this image right animation oh that this was all about the introduction to reproduction the modes of reproduction but we'll be studying the details in the upcoming sections let us have some question practice based on it unisexual flowers are these are basically those flowers which are either male or female they either have the male part or the female part right so they will either produce the male gamete or the female gamete so the flower which contains either pistil or the stamen actually the female part of the flower it is termed as the pistil this is the female part of the flower whereas stamen the male part of the flower it is termed as the stamen dear student so even now we know the names also the female part of the flower is termed as pistil and the male part of the flower is termed as the stamen all right next question why is the process of reproduction necessary imagine if there is only one cat over this planet earth so it will take birth you all will play with it right with her for some years and then she will die after that there are no cats the species became extinct there are no more cats it got extinct but what if before dying it gives birth to a baby cat a kitten so that will grow and develop and it will it will replace the old cat so this way the continuity of organism is there continuity of species is maintained over this planet earth 
right? And if there are more cats, so more uh, organisms will be given birth to. So the cats, more cats will give more births to the younger ones. So we will have the population size also maintained. So that is why reproduction is very, very essential to maintain the species over this planet Earth so that they do not become extinct. So the process of reproduction is necessary for the continuation of species and to increase the number of members of species. Like I told you, the population size is maintained through this. Next question. Give one example of unisexual and bisexual flower. So we see so many plants around us, papaya, date palm, as well as the hibiscus. Dear students, hibiscus, which we have most commonly seen in our schools, it is actually a bisexual flower. It gives uh, as both the gametes. It produces male gamete also as well as the female gamete also. Whereas the papaya, date palm, these are all the unisexual flowers. That's all. Thank you so much.